Hello everyone. Today we are going to uh, learn some basic networking commands, network troubleshooting commands. A uh, few commands which are really very important while we are uh, learning computer networking, while we are dealing with the networking, we should know how to troubleshoot our network at basic level. So we'll start with the very first uh, command the very basic command that is if config command it is nothing but the interface configuration uh, we can say it is utility for our network administration or the system administration in open operating systems uh, to configure to manage and uh, query network interface parameters uh, via command line interface or in a system configuration script right so today we are going to use our command line if you are uh, using the Ubuntu operating system, then the command is ifconfig. If you are on the Windows operating system, then you can use ipconfig. Okay. So let us see the output of this command. Simply, we can run a simple command that is ifconfig. And if you will just enter, you will get some output. Okay. This command is used for displaying the current network configuration information, setting up an IP address, net mask, or a broadcast address to a network interface, creating uh, some network interfaces, setting up hardware addresses, and to enable or disable the network interfaces. So these are the few, uh, we can say, important usage of this command, if config. Okay. Now, if you can observe the output uh, of this first command that is ifconfig command with no any argument right here you can observe no any argument or the parameter is attached to this command with no argument will display all the active interfaces hmm? in detail whatever the details of this interface will be there that will be displayed now this ifconfig command is also used to check the address assigned ip address of uh, of the system on a server right we have not added any parameter to this command and we can see the active interfaces to this system, right? This is a loopback address. This is a by default, it will come on any machine, right? And this is my network to which I have connected right now to the internet, right? And in this connected internet, you can observe the IP address for my system, 192.168.1.15. This is my system address, right? And the net mask is given and the broadcast address for my machine is given. So by using this, we can analyze, we can identify the IP address of our machine and the interface to which we have connected. Fine. Now after this, suppose we want uh, all the information about the interfaces which are connected right now, which are not connected. We just want to know uh, all the interfaces. Like if you will run the command if config space hyphen a, okay. Now this command ifconfig command with a hyphen a argument will display information of all the active or inactive network interfaces on the server. Okay, it results with this output. Can you see the difference? In the above command, we have received the output with this uh, limited interfaces because these are only the active interfaces. But if you will run ifconfig hyphen a, then it will display all the interfaces which are active as well as which are not active. Yeah. Now it will uh, it will give you all the details regarding this. We can say it uh, uh, interface by using this interface. What was our address and everything? Okay, that we can find out. Now after this, suppose I want to I just I, I know my interface to which I have connected. Okay, for example, now I have connected with Wi-Fi zero. Right. Now, I, if I want the details regarding that Wi-Fi 0, then the command is ifconfig enter. So, it will give the details with the specific interface only. Okay. Only with the specific interface, whatever the details are available, that will be displayed. Hmm. Then, now suppose, for example, um, my this interface is not corrected connected right now this is down now how to activate that how to activate that interface the simple command with this if config if config space 
y pi zero, which is my interface name, and suppose this is now on, right? This this is my active interface right now. Now, if I want to down that side or uh, interface, then simply you just have to write down. Okay, enter. See, the command has been executed. Now, if I will run, if I will check, if config only if config, then it will show you. the current connected uh, interface because i have connected here okay now if suppose if right i f config I will take this interface Wi-Fi two up, but I have not connected to this, so it will not actually activate the interface IF config. See, we are not connected to this Wi-Fi, so we cannot uh, show the experiment to up or down. But you just have to remember, we can activate the interface. And deactivate the interface by using the command up and down with the name of that interface. We have to use these parameters with the if config command. Okay, so these are the few usage of if config information configuration, right? Now by using this, you can you can get the more uh, interface configuration. Sorry, you can get the more information regarding your interface. You can get the details of your IP address, network address, ma network mask, broadcast address, okay, and which are the active interfaces are there to your system, which are down interfaces that you can identify by using this IF config command. Fine. Now, Control L to clear the screen. Now, what we can do? Uh, okay, our next command is our next command is the ping command. Okay, a simple. Uh, packet internet grouper is the full form for this command ping command ping right this ping comes from a term used in a sonar technology that sends out pulses of sound and then listens for the echo to return on a computer network a ping tool is built into the most operating system uh, that works in much the same way you issue the ping command uh with some url or the ip address your computer sends some several packets of information out uh, to the device and then waits for the response when it gets the response the ping tool shows you how long each packet took to make the round trip okay so or otherwise if there is no any communication then it will uh, reply like destination unreachable like that so uh, this is this is a very simple command but you can get the more details or mere a uh, more basic troubleshooting by using a ping command let us see how to use this ping command okay and simply you just have to write a ping with some given url like www. suppose i will ping to google.com fine see the reply is coming okay yeah. So if I want to stop this responses, just enter Control C. Fine. This response shows the URL uh, that we are pinging, like like we have pinged to the Google dot com, right? The IP address associated with this URL to this Google dot uh, com currently the IP address belongs to one forty dot. Two fifty dot sixty seven dot one sixty four, right? So, uh, and the size of the packets being sent on the first line, right? This will be the details in the first line. Then the next below lines shows the replies from each individual packet, including the time in milliseconds, okay? And it took for the responses and uh, time to leave for the packet, which is. Uh, we can say the amount of time that must pass before the packet is discarded so it should not happen here you, your packet is uh, roaming in the network infinitely there should be a time limit right 
so this is how the responses comes after you ping some uh, ping to some url okay simple uh, in another way uh, we can also use this command by using the ip address simply write the ping and uh, ip address like i know now the ip address of google.com is 142.250 dot 67 dot 164 then enter see this works like this works with ip address as well as with the url also control c to come out of that command okay so uh, when the ping tool does not get any responses from whatever the devices we are pinging it let it just tells that destination is unreachable for example suppose if i will ping 192.168.55.1 uh, okay i have written ip address uh, randomly just let us check whether this particular ip address belongs to this or not whether we can reach to this ip address or not i have chosen the ip address a uh, very randomly ping space ip address and still there is no any response no any reply is coming that means our system cannot reach to this particular ip address okay that is the meaning of this output also in this uh, output it will come upon uh, it the output will come like reply from the ip address which we have given 192.168.55.60 with uh, some bytes this is returned right reply from this 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 destination host unreachable destination host unreachable like that okay so if when the ping tool does not get a responses from whatever the devices we are pinging it lets you just uh, know that the destination is unreachable in this manner you can use this with the ip address we can use this with the url also fine so simply we can say that what we can do with the ping how uh, how we can use that ping a url or the ip address to see if we can reach an intended destination if we get a successful responses we know that the ne networking devices between we and the destination are working including the network adapter in your computer right or your router and whatever the devices exist on the internet between our router and the destination that we can verify right then the second is what to uh, ping a url to resolve if ip address like i have uh, ping to the www.google.com and i have received the uh, received the responses with this that i before this i don't know the ip address of uh, google.com but after pinging to this google.com i received the ip address and then later on i have tried with this right so we can know we can resolve its ip address by using the url then ping uh, we can ping your router to see if we can reach it if you can't successfully ping an internet location you can then try pinging your router a successful response uh, lets you know that your local network is working okay and that the problem reaching the internet location is somewhere out of your uh, we can say your own network or your own control right then uh, one more that is uh, ping your loopback address now what is loopback address 127.0.0.1 which will be common so if you cannot successfully ping your router but uh, your uh, router appears to be turned on and it is working properly so you can try pinging uh, what is known as a loopback address so that address is always 127.0.0.1 and pinging it successfully lets you know that the network adapter on your computer uh, that is working properly or not okay so by using this ping command we can do a several uh, uh, several usage or several usages are there by using the ping command the very first important thing is we can identify whether partic uh, two particular system or site or ip address we can reach or not and then if we want to know any ip address of any particular url then we can find out by using this ping command okay then uh, we will move towards the next okay now the next command that is the trace route command okay so while we are uh, 
Trace root command. If you are using the Ubuntu operating system, then you just have to install this trace root first of all. How to install that? sudo apt-get install space trace root. Okay. Then the installation will uh, installation will be done, and after that you can access the trace root command. Now, if you are in the Windows operating system, then this command is T R A C E R T. Okay, trace root. For trace root, we have a word T R A C E R T. And space the URL which we want to search for. Okay, now what is this trace root? When packets are sent across the internet, they must uh, hop from network to the network, right? So the trace root command, as the name implies, traces the route that packets takes to reach the host. It will show you how many hops it takes to reach the host and how long it took between each hop. So this allows you to diagnose potential networking bottlenecks. Okay. So uh, for example, this trace rt that is trace root space www.google.com enter okay so this example shows the trace root command output from a local machine my machine to the google's public domain right i have written simply www.google.com so it will reach up to the google uh, domain name and whatever the server will be there for that google.com it will reach up to that and it will find out to reach to the Google's domain how many hopes are present in between my machine and to that uh, Google server. Right. So this is a very simple, uh, we can say a simple by you by using a only single command, we can identify how many hopes are present in between. Right. And how much time it takes to reach uh, to that particular intermediate hope that we can find out by using this press root command right so this is uh, the maximum hopes are 30 in between our machine and to this server and we have reached our packet has reached from 1 to 8 so at 8 at final destination this is the ip address of this google.com right in previous example previous command also we have verified so it has been started with my own network address my ip is what 192.168.1.15 in last command we have uh, uh, identified that right so after my machine the message went to the packet went to my local network address right 192.168 my network address 192.168.1.1 so after my network it reached to here then here then here then here hope to hope hope to hope hope to hope and then finally it reached to google server right and then this trace complete so by using this we can find out the mediator hopes how many hopes are there and how much time it takes to reach there so this is what the simple trace root command is so uh, these are all the commands which we require to troubleshoot the network okay now the next command is ns lookup now this NS lookup is uh, the name of a program. Uh, the full form for this is network server lookup. Okay. Now uh, we can say what this program does or what this command does is a network administrator or any computer user, if it, it will enter a host name. Okay. And by using that command, you can find out the corresponding IP address or the domain domain name system, which is available in the record of that authority, uh, we can say authoritative site. Okay, user can also enter a command for it to do a reverse DNS lookup. Like if we if we can uh, if we are going to write the IP address and we want to know the uh, exact URL or exact domain name for this particular IP address, that we can reverse up. Okay, so. This is used basically. This NS lookup is used to troubleshoot server connections or for security reasons. Okay, now such reasons include some guard against the phishing attacks. Right, phishing attack means what? By using a similar name, a similar name like uh, suppose the authenticated site is www.google.com, g o o g l e.com, right? But what uh, uh, what will be the case of phishing? 
like uh, i will receive a mail from www.gugle.com right so it looks like uh, something uh, something like the google.com g o o g l e or um, someone can use a malicious uh, we can say user can use a site like g triple times uh, o g l e.com okay so any uh, one of the person may not identify this is not the authoritative uh, site so he or he or she have doubt then he, we can go with this ns lookup command so we can find out uh the authenticated site the authenticated ip address and then we can verify and we can uh, um, uh we can say this will be working against the uh, this will be working as a guard against the phishing attack right so how to run that simply you just have to write the ns lookup there is no any need to install or uh, something you just have to run the command ns lookup space the url which you want to verify see so ip address uh, the server address is 192.168.1.1 and the address is 192.168.1.1 hash 53 okay and non authoritative answer is what a non authoritative answer means uh, this is not the registered answer but this is available on this server okay so name is google.com and the address for this particular site is what dns is what 142. 250.67.164 okay and the name for this particular is google.com and the address right so by using this ns lookup lookup we can find out uh, we can troubleshoot the authenticated ip address the authenticated domain name so that we can uh, well, we can take care of our machine against uh, the malicious attacks fine now we will move towards the next command that is netstat okay netstat is nothing but the network statistics netstat command displays various network related information uh, such as network connections routing tables interface statistics and muscurate connections multicast memberships etc okay a more information we can find out by using a uh, netstat command we can troubleshoot our network we can analyze uh, through our network whether uh, which ports are open or we can say uh, which uh, we can say um, we can find out the routing table and which are which sockets are up that means active which sockets are not active that we can find out by using the network statistics command netstat command okay it gives you uh, the basic uh, information in a tabular form it gives you the stats okay so by using the output of this netstat a uh, network administrator or a user can find out uh, which are the sockets which are currently open and if i'm going to keep it open then whether any uh, chances of malicious attack may happen or not or uh, if any attack has been occurred and that we have identified then we can also check whether uh, through which socket it has happened or because of uh, with Uh, or there we can just analyze ki is there any chances by using uh, by using which uh, one of uh, the socket the attack has been uh, possible okay so to find out that first of all we have to check we have to analyze which sockets are open so to identify that we can use this netstat command okay so by using number of parameters with this netstat let us do some uh, demo i will tell you one by one suppose if i will do net start hyphen a okay this command is used to show both listening and non listening sockets okay if you can observe the output it will give you all the details which sockets which protocol related your uh, sockets are open or not and the status of the st uh, status of that particular socket or port see if you are in a listening stage if you are in a established stage if you are in a finished waiting stage close wait 
then time weight right so these are the different uh, we can say sockets which are open and the status of that particular socket is available then right now the next command that is netstat hyphen at i mean above output we can see there are two protocols tcp icmp uh, tcp udp are there so if i will run netstat hyphen at then it will display all tcp ports if you are running uh, in the ubuntu operating system or any open operating system and you are using the netstat command then it will give you uh, more details it will it will definitely give you the more details than uh, if you are running the command in windows okay now it is showing the output only for the tcp command tcp protocol in the same way you can run a netstat hyphen au for udp yes if i will run hyphen au okay this is not supported uh, in windows but if you will run this in your um, ubuntu operating system then it will definitely give the output i am currently running on the windows so it is not giving me the output but you can try it on ubuntu operating system okay now suppose i want to see i want to check all the listening ports then next at hyphen l command again this is given the error so these are the all commands which we can run in ubuntu operating system and you will definitely get the output okay there are few commands which are not supported in windows that is why i am getting the problem but you can run this on your ubuntu operating system i have uh, explained the meaning or why we use this particular command so you can use it easily analyze that on uh, by executing that in your ubuntu operating system so i hope network statistics command which is used to troubleshoot our network which is used to access the statistics regarding the socket which are connected which are open which are inactive uh, through our system that we can identify right and the next command is arp command arp is nothing but the address resolution protocol right the basic usage or the main purpose of this arp is to map the physical uh, logical address to the physical address right that is ip address to the mac address we know that to travel uh, or to send any particular message from one machine or one host machine to the another host machine the packet will be transmitted through network layer to uh, data link layer now whenever the network layer is sending the packet to the data link layer that time uh, we need to deal with the frames now frames means which will deal with the data link layer and which needs to access the physical address now whenever any source machine is sending a packet to the destination machine it knows the ip address of destination machine but it doesn't know the destination mac address destination physical address so it needs to first of all find out the mac address of the uh, destination machine so that a particular packet can be transmitted to the intended recipient right so uh, uh, to identify uh, the law, uh, the particular physical address for respective uh, ip address that we use the arp uh, command okay arp protocol but uh, there is a one concept that arp cache now what is this arp cache uh whatever the mappings are done or whatever the processes are done uh, before some time or the random uh, transmission has been done the, from our machine to another machine depend upon that a uh, few mappings are stored into the arp table okay that is address resolution protocol table like routing table few entries are present in arp so it uh, 
that we can observe that we can analyze by using the command arp hyphen a if you will enter you will get the output in the arp table the first column shows the internet address another column shows the physical address and the type of that entry okay now uh, for this 192.168.1.1 for this we have a physical address this this is the mapping which is based on the previous processes which have uh, done on this particular machine and the type means uh, the entry which which is done uh, or we can say uh, this mapping which is done between the logical to the physical uh, the type of that that is whether it is dynamic or whether it is static dynamic dynamic means uh, network will do itself automatically right and static means network administrator will uh, handle this particular mapping right so this is the arp command now one more uh, that is the last uh, one additional command is there ip hyphen a sorry this this command this command will be uh, executed into the ubuntu operating system you can simply run this command in ubuntu operating system and you can find out the ip address of your own machine anyways uh, uh, some few different commands we have already observed in which we can find out our own machine's ip address we can find out the domain name with respect to our ip address we can find out uh, uh, we can say uh, we can find out the ip address with respect to domain name and re in reverse also right by using the more number of ip address or uh, more number of commands then also uh, we have seen some commands uh, which will a uh, troubleshoot uh, which will help us to uh, uh, we can say to guard against uh, the malicious activities right trace like trace root and all so these are the few basic commands basic networking troubleshoot command which we, uh, which we should know as a student of computer networking if you are learning if you are reading the networking if um, you if you are interested in a networking then you should know this basic all troubleshooting commands i hope uh, this is clear to you thank you